I am uh, Charles Work, and I live in Naples, Florida. I was appointed by uh, Nixon as the Deputy Administrator of the Law Enforcement Assistance Administration, and I was confirmed by the Senate. I've been a Republican all my life until this last year. We left it because of what happened in the United States Capitol, that terrible insurrection that was encouraged by Trump. It seems to me that what has happened here is that this big lie that Trump has promoted that he really won the election or that he would have won the election if the ballots had been properly counted, that big lie has, has infiltrated itself into a number of state legislatures all across the country. They have passed legislation that makes it harder to vote. What's terrible about that in, in Florida is that Florida had a nearly perfect, nearly perfect election in 2020. And that's admitted by the governor himself, who's been the main proponent of this uh, uh, voter suppression legislation that passed in, in the state of Florida. It's now harder to vote in Florida than it was before. Now, interestingly enough, this so-called bill, SB 90, it's the, the number in the state of Florida, the so-called bill was opposed. It was opposed by 67, every single one of the election commissioners in our county in Florida opposed this bill. And the reason they opposed this bill is it made it harder for them to do their job. They stood up and said it makes it harder for people to vote. And believe it or not, administering this new law, the estimates are it's gonna cost the Florida taxpayer between 12 and $16 million, 12 and $16 million to make it harder to vote in the state. We used to be able to have um, our application for online voting accepted for two voting cycles, okay? They reversed that. It can only now be accepted for one voting cycle. That means that there are gonna be a bunch of voters out there who think they've already had their petition or their application for online voting accepted, that it's gonna be good the next time around. It's not gonna be. They're gonna to have to do it over again. And so, of course, that's gonna cost more money. The, the election administrators have to, have to administer that. But more importantly, you know, who's gonna wake up all these people to tell them that their, their, their voting application that they had in place before is, is, is no longer valid. In other words, one of the awful things this, this, this bill does is it sows confusion, confusion. We don't need confusion in voting. Now, another thing is these, these uh, drop boxes. The drop boxes have been a great success. You can understand why people want to drop it off rather than stick it in the mail. They don't have a, a lot of confidence sometimes in the mail system. So they put it in the drop box. Now, each one of these drop boxes, and they're now limited as to the number of times and how they can be used and where they can be used and the number of hours they can be used, they cut way back on the number of hours they could use in this bill. But not only that, they have to be supervised. So some, some county election officials say, I don't have the staff to supervise a drop box. And so I'm gonna have to pull the drop box in my county. The Department of Justice now has sued Georgia over its punitive bills. I hope we see the federal government down here suing Florida as well. I, I think that everybody knows that the essence of democracy is voting. It's, it's the essence of democracy. You know, uh, mail-in voting, uh, uh, absentee voting, voting by servicemen across the, who are across the ocean, all that had become much more routine, much more systematic, and, and much more broadly accepted. And up until recently, the trend had, had been entirely towards uh, mail-in voting. You know, the state of Colorado has nothing but mail-in voting. You know, the trend had been entirely towards um, making these restrictions easier, uh, easier on the voter and making it easier to vote. And that's, that's really what I want everybody to understand. Uh, this liberalization of voting has worked. There, nobody has proven that it's fraudulent. It has worked. And we can continue to liberalize um, the ability to vote, we continue to make it easier to vote and still not, still not be threatened with fraud. The fraud, the fraud idea is the big lie.